So Spider-Man 2 is dropping in October 20th, 2023. And the senior creative director, Brian in I, I, Intelar? Intel Intelar. I think it's Intelar. He said it in his video um when he announced it or when he was explaining it in the PlayStation State of Play that just took place not too long ago or is still going on. I'm not gonna lie, I hopped off just to get the notes on this video. Guys, Spider-Man is here, and as you know, if you guys follow my Instagram, I actually do post Spider-Man clips. And a couple of them have, you know, done really well. So if you guys want to support my Spider-Man clips on my PlayStation only games account, it's um, where I actually post PlayStation exclusives on that account. Well, for right now, it's just Spider-Man, but, you know, we're going to get into some more games. But aside from that, we have the actual breakdown, like the actual breakdown of the Spider-Man 2 game that's going to be coming out. And he gave some points, and I just want to go over them and kind of share my excitement so the first thing he gave was a bigger map size this is honestly going to be like on some gta level type stuff for me for me personally that's how it's looking like you get to go between queens it's, it's double the sizes of the other maps basically is what he was saying and it's it's it looks to me that this is going to be a very fast like it's gonna be it's gonna be long i feel like it's gonna be a long game like they, they have a lot of stuff planned and a lot of ways to get around as, as well and then one of the other points that he got into was we're actually going to be seeing like new footage from like the, the entire like the time that they've been promoting this. We haven't really seen this footage that they, that they were showing. Like some of the footage in the trailer is new and it, it looks so clean. I, it, the graph, it seems like the graphics are getting better every time they show it. Not going to lie. It is so clean. So clean. And I just, oh, this is going to be such a great game. I, I really do feel like it's going to be such a great game. It's such a vast game that the two games combined, like Spider-Man 1 and Miles Morales, is basically what they're doing, combining them. It's just, it's just amazing. But on to his next point, the web swinging. You also, obviously, we already knew that. We have the, you know, the uh, gliding, uh, the wingsuits. Those are those are gonna be so lit. And again, if you watch my clips, I'm gonna be doing them clips nasty now. It's gonna be crazy. Like the, the the edits are gonna go crazy. Aside from that, we also have aside from that, we also have comic book landmarks, which are basically your like landmarks like where Miles Morales went to school, maybe where Spider Man uh, grew up at his actual like you know hometown stuff like that that they may have not emphasized in the other game. They definitely emphasized here. Um, they also wanted to emphasize the seamless, the seamless switching between characters, like how GTA is. Only it's gonna be faster, they say. And I actually saw one of the animations. It actually looks really cool when you switch back from like Peter to Miles. They have this specific animation it looks like, and it it looks just, it looks very polished. They look like they actually went into detail. With that being said, we also have the bigger exploration. So you have like kind of like visual cues that you can have access to as you complete the story that he was talking about and those are basically like you can see something in the sky and kind of like go to it like you know just like warning stuff like on the map but it won't be so like popping up on the screen it's like through the visor like he explained that miles and peter have masks that have ar or ai sorry in there that that actually like visually show you what's going on in front of you it, 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 it looks really creative and thoughtful like it looks really 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 good like i'm sorry I, I really am giving this praise because it deserves it like this game looks like it's going to be great they, they barely showed the venom suit or anything like that that's the thing they, they barely showed that stuff they're really just breaking everything down that they did before but showing some like i guess newer stuff and so one of the big things that i wanted to emphasize is that they also said that they're bringing in marvel like at the end of every battle there's marvel villains marvel villains with an s not yet seen let's 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 break this down because we look, look let's get it out get this out the way we already know venom is coming we already know craven right right what other marvel villains do you guys think is going to be in here that's that's what I'm, th I'm thinking, Mysterio. I'm just gonna put that out there right now. That's my theory. But they said villains with an S, and I know that they don't just mean Venom. And there is another, like, a villain in the trailer, I believe. We don't really know who it is. But I wanna say that they're adding, like, an extra, like, cameo in there. Like, I, I wanna say they are. That's just me, that's like, that's like my theory. But we're, we're just gonna, like, kind of mull over that, but, like, Definitely want to emphasize that like the Marvel villains part kind of struck out to me because we, we already saw Venom. We already we already know Venom's coming. We know the big villains. We know 
you know who you know who's coming so why, why are they emphasizing oh marvel villains not ever seen yet so we don't know who's we don't know all the villains that are there so that's that's that could be something now the last thing out and the big thing for me is is big because the cosmetics is always a big thing for people that's one of the big reasons people buy things is for visual appeal right and so the suits count them we're getting a total of 65 suits with 200 customizable options that's what he said no lie that's what he said 200 ways to customize your outfits that was that's way more than the other two games i'm not gonna lie i was so underwhelmed with the suits that they had but they're they're having the original comic book suits for some for miles and, and peter like it this is if you got the money to pre-order i suggest that you pre-order right now because it's, it's about to go up i'm sorry i'm excited leave a comment if you're excited for spider-man 2 guys if you're a fan of spider-man if you're a fan of, fan of comic books in general let me know in the comments this is going to be great i'm definitely going to be covering a review on the game and probably again you know showcasing my clips on instagram so again make sure you follow me on instagram because all like my little short film content on spider-man will be posted there and i'll do a big review and maybe some like you know breakdowns for the game itself when it does come out um yeah so i appreciate you guys for watching this video leave a like on this video subscribe if you're new and get on some more gaming content <laughs> peace